Hello guys, you welcome to my channel. Today we want to look at a beautiful question, like you can see on the ball. If you're watching this video, kindly watch till the end and see how we can solve this question appropriately. Okay, let's look into that. We have uh, 2 to the power of 2x equal what? 8x. This is very difficult to achieve. If I take the log of both sides, uh, if you can spot the error in this place, let me know in the comment below. If I take the log of both sides, 2 to 2x two equal the log of 8x. Uh, so 2x log of 2 will equal log of 8 plus log of x. Okay, if I take this on to the other side, let's say it's 2 log of 2. Minus, uh, okay, let me just write that 8 as 3 log uh, log 2 equal log of x, like this. You know, 8 is the same thing as saying 2 to the power of 3, so the 3 will come back to this side. That, I will get that. Thank you. Now, log of t is common. If I factorize it out, I will have this to equal 2x minus, uh, minus 3 equal log of x. If this and this should cancel like that, so I have 4x minus 6 equal x. So 3x equals 6, hence x equal what? 2. Abi, is it correct? If you can spot the mistake here, let me know in the comment section below. But there's, a, there's an error here that can only what? That is not mathematically what? Correct. So if you can spot it, let me know in the comment below. Okay, let's solve it appropriately the way the questions should be solved. You know, this gives us the right answer, right? Okay, I want you to spot the error. So let's quickly look into the appropriate way of solving this particular question. Okay, guys, if I have this now, what I would like to do is that I can rewrite this one as uh, 4 to power of x because this is 2 to the power of 2, which is 4, then to the power of x. That means 4 is to the power of x. Are we together? And this in turn equal what? 8x. If I divide both sides by 4 to the power of x, I will have what? 8x divided by 4 to the power of x to equal what? 1, like this. Okay, if this should be the case, if I divide both sides by 8, because I want you to understand something. Whenever they ask us to solve for anything equation, what they, they are telling you is to make that the subject of the formula. Are we together? So whenever you are solving for something, all what you should be thinking is how can I make that in the subject of the formula? So we are trying to make what? x the subject of the formula. Are we together? Okay, if this should be the case, I want you to note something here. That if I have, uh, if I have, uh, let's say I have a, this a is the same thing as me saying e to power of uh, lin a. Since this is log in base b, base e, and this is also e, they can cancel, then I have this. So if this holds for every mathematical statement, I can write this for as saying what? x all over e to the power of uh, lin 4 to the power of x equal 1 over 8. Remember, I divide both sides by what? By 8. Oh, okay, let, don't let me skip that step. Okay, if I divide both sides by 8, so you get it right. This is 4 to the power of x equal 1 over 8, like this. Okay, and if this should be the case, I can now note that a is the same thing as saying e to the power of uh, lin a. So I'm going to rewrite this 4 as, okay, let's continue from here. I can write the 4, this is x to the power of e to the power of lin 4 to the power of x equal what? 1 over 8. This is the same thing as 4 to the power of x. Okay? If this should be the case, this can in turn becomes uh, x e to the power of uh, negative x ln 4 equal 1 all over what? 8. <laughs> I know I'm taking this one from the base, so that's why this becomes what? Negative. This x is what comes back to this place according to the law of logarithm. Are we clear about that? Okay? If this should be the case now, how can I make x to stand on its own? I would like you to recall a theorem that you may not be taught in school. 
And uh, that is what we call the product log. The product, uh, product log. Or you call it Lambert W function. Product log or you call it what? Lambert W function. Are we together? Like that. So if you look at this now, this is the same thing as what we call product log. And what does this state? It says if you take the Lambert W function of uh, x e to power of x, your result is what? Your result is x. I have a video on the on some question that requires this also. You can check that in the description box below. Okay? So if this is x e to power of x, when you take the w function of it, you have your what? You have your x. Hence, can I do this such that what I have here can also be here? So I can apply what? This product log. Yes, it's possible. If I multiply both sides by negative limb 4, what will be here will be the same thing as what I have here. So let's multiply both sides by that. So I will then have negative x limb 4, then e to the power of negative x limb 4, equal negative limb 4 divided by 8. Are we together? So if I take the w function of both sides, I will have this to become negative x limb 4 equal w function of uh, negative limb 4 all over what? 8. Like that. Are we together? Now, I have to divide both sides by what? By negative uh, limb 4. So, I will have that x is equal to negative w function of negative limb 4 over 8 divided by lean four like this so are we together okay let me clear the questions so that we can have more space so from here now this can be written as a uh, lean two raised to power of two of which the two will come down to this side so that the two can divide what eight so we are going to have four here so i can then conclude and say x is negative lean i have what negative lean two divided by 4, divided by lane 4. How, if you check your Wolfram Afram, are you getting it now? It's a calculator where you can find on what, on Play Store while you pay just a token, I think 15 era in Nigerian currency or 10 era if I'm not mistaken. So, you can check what, Wolfram Afram on Play Store, download it then. If you input this value on Wolfram Afram, you are going to have that the product log of negative lane 2 over 4 divided by lane 4 is equal to what? 2. So if this is equal to 2, hence x is also what? Equal to 2. And if x is equal to 2, then this equation 2 raised to the power of 2x equal what? x would be the same thing as saying 16 equal what? 16. We understand this now. Thank you. And that is that about what? The method that we might not be what exposed to while we are in school. Are we together now? We call it product log or we call it Lambert W function. Another way of solving this particular question is by using the Newton Raphson method. I'll be talking about that after our calculus class so that you can understand it very well because it's like calculus. So, as always, that's it. Oh, before I go, I would like you to try this also on your own. So you can try if I have 2 to power of uh, 2, okay? Let me say I have 2 to power of x equal what? 8x, like this. Find the value of x. Have a nice day, guys.